Okay, so today at Chev Units, we're going to be showing you how to turn on and power up your generator. The first step you want to make sure you, before powering anything on, whether you're going to turn on your 50 amp plug or your generator, make sure like you do not have both things running at the same time. So we're going to turn this on. We're going to make sure that, you know, we have nothing 110 connected. Disconnect that. Once that is done, the next step is to go inside the cabin. You're going to go up to your breaker box. Make sure all your breakers are going to be off. So right here, you want to make sure all of them are off. Once that's done, you can go ahead and power up your generator. Now you got two choices. You can power it. Power it up from the front, which is going to be, you have a control panel right here. You can put a power it up from right here from the front, from the dashboard. All right. You got your power button. Or we could turn it on from the generator side, which is going to be right here. In order to power it up, first thing you want to do, make sure your breaker, your main breaker is off. Just make sure that is off. You want to prime it by pressing down a couple seconds. You hear it, it's going, it's priming, making sure you know there's going to be a uh, diesel inside the generator. And um, before we start it up, we're going to pull it out because if this is going to be standing still, you won't have the generator pulled out. The only time you can have it running pushed in is whenever the truck is running itself. So we're going to pull that pin out. We're going to pull it out halfway. Halfway should be fine. And now we can go ahead and power it up. So we're going to turn it on by pressing it down until it turns on. Okay. Now you can go ahead and turn on your main breaker on. Okay. So now that your generator is on and your main breaker on the generator is on, Go ahead and power up the breakers one at a time. And you want to make sure you go slow and power everything up too fast. That's right. so you're going to have an outlet right here. You're going to have one, two, three outlets. On this side, you have four. You got two inside the cabinet, five, six. You're going to have one above your sink, seven. All right, so once you have your switch for your water pump, your water pump will be uh, automatically going to be on. There's a few things you need to notice about uh, having your water pump system and everything on. First things first, you want to make sure your tank is full. Okay, you want to make sure it's full and always keep an eye on it. Whenever it's running low, you want to make sure you know you don't let it run low. Because once your water pump starts consuming air, it's going to break the seal inside. It's going to burn out. Same thing with your water heater. You want to make sure there's water inside the tank before it starts heating up. Once you once this is finished, before you refill it back up, you want to make sure your gray tank or your dirty waste water tank is empty. Because then otherwise you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have the water empty into the gray tank and then you're gonna refill it up again. And if you don't empty out your tank, you know, you're basically just gonna overflow the wastewater tank. Outside, you have your uh, water pistol or propane tank. Working on the gas, you know, make sure every appliance inside is uh, opposite. So, okay, once you're ready to well, turn on the propane, what you're gonna do is just turn it on. And you know you got your gauge right here indicating how much gas you get. Okay, once you got that done, once this is open, you're gonna have your valve, your main valve. Once you open this up, it's gonna start releasing gas inside inside your truck. So on one side you got a, a tank of propane, and then on the other side, which is gonna be your kitchen side, you're gonna have another tank. It's gonna be the same concept. You have your tanks, you want to make sure it's open, you're going to have your valve, and that indicates how much propane you have, and then you got a main valve. You know, so whenever this one is, let's say you got one on, you want to make sure the other one is off. Unless you want to use both tanks at the same time, but it's really, you know, once you run out one one uh, propane tank, you can use the other one. 
Okay, so now before turning on your valve on the inside for your appliances, before you turn it on, make sure all your appliances are on off position. You don't want to have, you know, turn this on and have all this on high and have start releasing a lot of propane. That can be very dangerous. So make sure everything's off. Once everything's off, you go ahead and turn it on. Whenever the, the, the valve is switched on the cross roll like this, it's going to be off. So whenever it's in line, it's going to be on. You got three valves for, for three appliances. Each appliance has its own valve. So once, you know, once that's on and uh, you want to start cooking up, go ahead and turn on your uh, pilot. By basically turning on the pilot, you're going to have a pilot inside here. You're going to get a lighter. You want to make sure you have a long lighter, not the short ones. You want to make sure you get a long one like this one. That's going to reach all the way to the pilot. So once your valve is on, you go ahead and light up. The pilot is going to be back there. Once you see the pilot is on, go ahead and turn on your appliance. You know, it's going to start everything up. So this is the difference between the lighters. One of them is going to be shorter. It's not going to reach to the pilot. You're going to have difficulties lighting up your appliance. So make sure you get the longer one, which is going to give you an extra reach. Okay, so now we're gonna start with your appliances. Right here, you're gonna have your freezer. You're gonna be able to tell because on the inside it says a uh, freezer. And then you have your uh, hot box. Make sure you know you take off the plastic before you operate. And make sure you know before turning and powering it on. Right now it's off. Make sure you know you have water inside. You're gonna put some water in here for the steam and all that. So you make sure before you turn that on, make sure there's water in there and you know, everything's set to go. And right here, you're gonna have your refrigerator. It's gonna stay right there. Okay, so in case of an emergency, there's a fire inside your uh, truck. You have a handle right here. You're gonna pull in case of a fire. This will, you know, basically, this will power up your uh, extinguisher, which is your fire suppression extinguisher. All this is gonna, you know, flow through here, extinguish the fire you got going on. It's, if it's not that big of a fire, you think you could handle it with like a, a, a fire extinguisher. We have a smaller one, this is the K. This is more like with stuff to deal with grease, like fryer, fryer fires. A regular fire, you're gonna have your ABC type, which is gonna be this one at the front, the red one. That's the case of a regular fire. So right here on this, uh, this appliance, all this, this is all like, you know, they each come with a, their own chimney. What we do here at Chef Units, we basically just, you know, turn all all of them combined into one big chimney. So, you know, it's just much easier. It looks much nicer, much cleaner. And this will be more easy to clean, more accessible. You know, it's gonna be, make your life much easier. To fill up the fresh water tank, what you wanna do is grab a regular hose you're gonna have your inlet water valve right here. All you're gonna do is put it in there and screw it on. And then once it's screwed on, you're gonna open up your valve, fill up your fresh water tank, and then you're gonna go ahead and disconnect it. Now to empty the gray tank or a waste tank, what you wanna do is you're gonna have a valve at the bottom right here, which you're going to pull open at the commissary, and you're going to empty out your water. Once the water is empty in the gray tank, you go ahead and fill up your fresh water tank.